Hi. This is Sam. This time I will introduce you to the main user interface of COPSA 7. COPSA 7 adopts the latest Microsoft Office user interface style, which makes a better looking and operation. The main program can be divided into six parts, menu button and quick access, ribbon, note explorer, main view, alarm explorer and status bar. You can configure the program and launch networking tools through menu button and the ribbon. I will introduce them in another tutorial. This is the Node Explorer, one of the distinguishing features since early versions of COPSA. It contains three root nodes, Protocol Explorer, Physical Explorer and IP Explorer. All the protocols, MAC addresses and IP addresses are grouped into the root nodes. They can be used as display filters and help you find anomalies on MAC address and IP address. Selecting a node in the hierarchy tree, the main view will only show statistics relating to the selected one. The most important part of COPSA 7's user interface is the main view, which provides all statistics, diagnosis results, logs and reports in this section. The main view consists of 14 tabs. Let's go over them one by one. The first tab, Dashboard, provides a wide variety of graphs of statistics. You can create graphs to do statistics on any object and top tens on any object. For example, you can right-click any node in the Node Explorer and choose Make Graph in the context menu to create a graph. The second tab is Summary. As its name, this tab provides summary statistics of the network. You can have a general idea of the entire network or a single node. These statistics give you hints of the network anomalies as well. For example, high traffic utilization indicates that there might be downloading or uploading. Next tab is Diagnosis. COPSA diagnoses all captured packets and displays diagnosis results here, so that you don't need go down to the packets by yourself. You can see all diagnosis results are grouped into protocol layers respectively. This section shows the addresses of the event to help you locate the source nodes. This section shows the detailed information of the selected diagnosis event. Indeed, this tab helps you quick locate errors, problems and attacks, such as ARP attack. Next is the Protocol tab. This tab organizes all protocols used in communications in protocol suite structure. A protocol means a kind of application in your network. You can easily find out who is downloading, uploading or watching video on YouTube. These statistic columns provide enough information for you to check if the communications are going smoothly. You can click the column header to rearrange the list to find out the top talkers. You may notice there are other tabs in the lower section. Selecting an item in the list, you will find more statistics on the selected item to go deeper analysis. The following two tabs, Physical Endpoint and IP Endpoint, provide traffic statistics on MAC and IP addresses. With these statistics, you can find out anomalies easily like ARP attack, worm activities, DOS attack, and so on. The next four tabs give statistics on conversations. They are physical, IP, TCP and UDP conversation. These statistics tell you what the two nodes of communications are, and how many packets are sent and received. Through these statistics, you can find out if there is any worm or trojan activity in your network. I'd like to stress the TCP Conversation tab and UDP Conversation tab. The TCP Conversation tab shows the reconstructed packet data, so that you can read them in human language in the Data Flow tab. The Time Sequence tab is the latest developed functionality. It maps out how the packets traverse between the two nodes. They will help you find out abnormal communication, such as packet lost, slow response, and so on, in advanced analysis. Also, the UDP packets can be reconstructed. You can find reconstructed text in the Low Data tab of the UDP Conversation tab. Next is Matrix tab. It maps out the nodes of conversations in the communication with colored lines. The matrix gives you an intuitive view of the communications. It takes no effort to find out ARP spoofing. BT downloading, worm activities, and so on. The packet tab displays all packets in the buffer. 
these packets are helpful when you need to do in-depth analysis of the original packet data. A packet selected, it is decoded in the field decode. And the original data shows in the bottom as hexadecimal digits together with their ASCII decoding letters. The log tab shows all DNS, email, FTP and HTTP activities. COPSA recognizes these four types of communications and log them, such as who and when, visited a web page, or sent an email. Also you can check email log to find out if there is any worm that automatically sending emails to infect others. The last tab in the main view is the report tab. This tab generates a report that you can save into HTML format as an official report. It provides more useful statistics, looks better and more easily to understand. This is the main view. It helps you solve network problems more easily, quickly and with fewer clicks. There is another new introduced functionality in COPSA 7, Alarm. Click this button to show the Alarm Explorer window. You can create alarms on any object, to inform you of anomalies with pop-ups. With alarms, you are able to find out and solve the problems timely. At the bottom, this is the status bar. It tells you the general information of the current analysis project. On the right side is alarm notification, the bubbles will flash to try to grab your attention, when an alarm triggered. OK, this is the main user interface of COPSA 7. I hope this video helps you know more about the program. Thanks for watching.